Hi and welcome. The goal of this episode is to set up React Router and implement simple navigation between pages. So first we need some kind of navigation bar. And yes, you guessed it, I suck at visual design, so I'm gonna use Bootstrap to save us time and sanity. So let's open index.html file and inside of here in head tag, let's just paste this link to bootstrap.css. Let's save it. Let's run server. Go to browser, reload the page, and it becomes worth of some design reward, no less. So let's continue making this masterpiece, and I'm going to copy and paste code for navbar, but first let's create a component for that. So in our app.js component, here, let's add container div, and inside of it, let's use navigation bar component. And we're gonna remove greetings for now and replace it with navigation bar. Okay, so now I need to create this navigation bar, navigation bar.js, and I'm going to just paste this very simple navigation bar component, which is just a repo from Bootstrap documentation, and I just replace class with class names. That's it. And as you can see here, we have two links, one to the homepage and one to the sign up. On both of these pages, we want to have some kind of a layout. So on both of these pages, we want to see navigation bar, but on the main page, we want to see some kind of greetings message. And on the sign up page, we want to see the sign up form. So the next step is to install and set up React Router to achieve this goal. So let's open index.js in client folder here. And we, we're not going to need app component anymore. Instead of this app component, we'll use router component and we're going to import it from React Router. Of course, we need to install it. npm install, save, React Router. Okay, let's run server. Go to browser, reload the page. And we have some kind of error. So let's open developer tools and you can see that we actually need to provide history prop and we need to provide at least one route, the root route. So let's do this. So here in router, we need to provide history and we'll use browser history, which we can import again from React Router. Another option for us is hash history and we need to provide at least one route. So we're gonna provide routes and we're going to store them in separate file. So I'm going to import routes from routes. And let's create one, routes.js. So this file export default one component, route. And this route has a path of a slash. That's the root route. So we need to specify two things for, for our routes. One is the path and the second one is the path component, which we want to render when user goes to this path. So now we need to input React and we need to input route from React Router. And we need to import our app from components app. So now let's save it, go back to browser, reload the page. And now we do not have any errors. We have this hash stuff here, we can remove it that because we didn't specify our history before. Okay, that's good. No error so far. So now we need to implement simple navigation. On the main page here, we want to see the greeting message, but when we go to sign up route, we want to see sign up form. So let's start with greeting. So our app component is going to be our main layout component. So it has the layout information, maybe navigation bar, content, maybe some kind of a sidebar, footer, etc. But when we change routes, we want to render route specific content in some place inside app component. So to do that, right now we want to render our content just after navigation bar. And this content is stored in this props dot children. Okay, so now we can define our nested route right here. So I'm gonna close this route and I'm going to define index route. An index route is like a default root route. So when nothing else is specified, we want to render content 
of this particular component. In our case, there's going to be greetings. And of course, we need to import index route as well as greetings. So now if we go back here, let's reload the page. And you can see, hi, excellent, it works. Let's make it a little bit nicer. So I'm going to open greetings. And here I will enclose it in class name Jumbotron. I'm going to save it, go back to browser. And again, you notice that how to loading doesn't work. And that's because greetings component became top component for this particular route. As a rule of thumb, make all route components as class components for now. So I'm going to quickly transform it behind the scenes like this. So now if I go back to browser, reload the page, I have this component rendered. So if I change and remove these exclamation points, everything works nice. So now let's implement sign up route. So we're going back to routes. And here we'll add another nested route with path sign up and component sign up page. So I need to import this component and we'll organize components by pages or by features. So with the top component having suffix page, just, just a convention I use in this project. So in components, I'm going to have sign up folder and inside of it, I'll have sign up page. So let's create one components, sign up, sign up page.js. I'm going to paste just a simple code to save us time. So we define class component for sign up page with just a simple header sign up page. And we define it as a class component because we want hot reloading to work because sign up page is the root component, the top component for this route. So now if we go back to browser and let's go to sign up, we have sign up page. Excellent. It works. So as you can see, the app component is the layout and inside of this layout we have different routes. So last thing is to use navigation bar. So we need to go to our navigation bar component and inside of here, instead of this anchor tags, we want to use link. So we'll use link to root and class name we need to save. So we have red dice and I'm going to close this link. Okay, so I don't need this anymore. And here as well, I'm going to define link which points to sign up route. Very easy. Save it. Go back to browser. Oh, of course, I need to import it. So I import this link component again from React Router. Save it. Go back. Let's refresh the page. And now I can click on routes and you can see that everything's work. Good job. Okay, so let's commit. And now we're ready to implement our first real feature user sign up. Thanks for watching.